Improvised explosive devices, IEDs, are a global problem, causing tragic injuries, loss of life and millions of dollars of damage to military equipment. Advanced blast and ballistic systems, bridging the gaps between physics, concepts and reality and providing solutions for survivability. Established in 2009, Advanced Blast and Ballistic Systems Limited is at the cutting edge of research and design into game-changing developments of active blast protection systems for armoured vehicles. A complete suite of groundbreaking systems has been developed which can provide complete protection for the occupants from underbelly mines. The technology includes patented rocket motor technology, which can also be used in another major new market, urban air taxis. Using retro rockets is the only way that these aircraft can be prevented from crashing if a loss of control occurs. The company is the brainchild of Roger Sloman, who has a long history of developing breakthrough products. Roger introduced carbon fibre into F1 motor racing in 1975, now universally used in all racing cars. Starting in his spare room and garage in Rochdale, Lancashire, this led to founding the Advanced Composites Group Limited, which was later sold in 2004 for £44.25 million, 1.28 times its turnover and 11.6 times its operating profit. The original ABBS company has now developed into a semi-group structure by forming joint venture operations with other companies with the required specialist expertise that ABBS needed to develop and produce the required technology. This approach has resulted in ABBS having substantial share stakes in Advanced Reaction Motor Systems Limited, ARMS, Active VTOL Crash Prevention Limited, Advanced Protected Vehicles Limited, and Active Safety System Technologies LLC the marketing operation for all the different products in the USA. So what do we do? We save lives and injuries by providing active safety systems for armoured vehicles, light aircraft and EV tolls, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Mine and IED protection of vehicles is currently a potential $1 billion annual market and ABBS has invested over £7 million in R&D since 2008 to develop the technology required. Now working closely with the US Army, Israel and the UK Ministry of Defence, it is expected that the protection systems will be adopted for production vehicles in due course. Currently no one else is yet offering the complete set of system technologies that ABBS has developed in either of these active safety system markets. Rocket motor, R&D and propellant and rocket motor production are all core elements of the ABBS technology, which is combined with sophisticated safe arm, sensor and initiation technologies, some of which is patented, to ensure safe operation in service. In armoured vehicles, the rocket motors work in conjunction with a carbon fibre reinforced belly plate, which is a key component within the system reducing deformation to protect the occupant's feet and legs. One of the most interesting things with the ABBS uh, group of companies for me is that it is genuinely uh, new technology, um, pushing the limits really of what's possible, particularly with uh, rocket motor technology. Uh, when I first met Roger, I, I became an investor in the company before I became a director and uh, because I was so impressed with the technology um, inventing uh, novel rocket motors which then uh, hold down the vehicle against the blast and protect the uh, vehicle occupants inside. This is truly groundbreaking technology. We know it's better than uh, what our competitors uh, can offer and uh, it's eventually it's going to be uh, widely used on a whole range of vehicles. When the mine goes off, the vehicle doesn't move for 10 milliseconds. It's only 10 thousandths of a second. Well, that is obviously a time window in which you can do something. And I concluded that we could uh, detect uh, and react to the mine blast and put a countermeasure on the vehicle to push down on the vehicle to keep it on the ground. Uh, I designed a, a new form of rocket motor 
um, which would have a very fast reaction time and deliver all its impulse very quickly. Put a patent application in on the on the concept of, of just uh, pushing down on the vehicle, and that was granted. And it's uh, worldwide. So that's a technology he developed, eventually creating a thing called a linear rocket motor, uh, which creates that that reverse thrust to mitigate the blast from a mine or an IED. So that, that development work has been going on for the last decade. Um, we're working on a very exciting program with the US government called a CRADA. And when we get to the end of that program, um, you know, it, the, the product will be positioned for the major defense businesses to uh, utilize in their businesses and there's a very significant scale to that opportunity. There's also some more niche opportunities, for instance VIP Land Rover or Range Rover type vehicles that can also have this technology. So that's the basis of the new business. The 12 years of technology and IP development since 2008 for the armoured vehicles and the patented ultra-powerful linear rocket motor designs has led to a second and potentially even larger major market opportunity. The rapidly expanding eVTOL market, where passenger safety is obviously paramount. It came apparent that the, there's a new breed of aircraft being developed, the eVTOLs, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Essentially large drones designed to carry two people or four people and Uber began to push the urban air mobility concept of urban air taxis to get away from the congestion on the ground. Now the industry has picked this up uh, in a big way and there's currently over 200 different projects and all the big players like Airbus, Boeing, Bell, Helicopter they're all involved in this and even the car producers are getting involved because it's a new mode of transport that they have to be involved in. Uh, one example is uh, Joby in the USA that have just received the second tranche of funding taking their total funding to one billion dollars the issue with these aircraft is that being vertical takeoff and landing, these aircraft are very vulnerable to any problem during the vertical takeoff and landing phase. Now you can fit a parachute for the whole aircraft. The problem is that the parachute, being a large parachute, takes a long time to open. So there's a safety gap of 300 feet and that can only be filled by the use of retro rockets. So the use of retro rockets is the same way that Elon Musk returns his launches to the, uh, the launch pad that they were fired from. This is much simpler, because all we do is to fire the system just before the aircraft hits the ground, and uh, we can then have a controlled landing at one meter, two meters per second, to save the aircraft and save the passengers. Now, a safety is absolutely critical for the urban air mobility concept because these aircraft are going to be flying over crowded city environments and the people on the ground are not paying to be in the aircraft. They are vulnerable to the aircraft falling out of the sky. So it is a really serious issue and the only physically possible solution is the use of retro rockets. That is our speciality. As we've developed them for the armoured vehicles, you simply turn the motors upside down to make them work the other way and you fit them between the parachute and the aircraft and you have a system which can land the aircraft in a controlled fashion in any emergency scenario. AVCP is proposing a complete suite of active and passive technologies to ensure the best outcome in any forced landing. The suite consists of five elements and weighs just a hundred pounds. Helicopters have a poor safety record and average five crashes every hundred thousand hours of civilian flight, with one fatality in that time. And military accident figures are worse than this. This is partly due to the complexity of helicopter design, where a single mechanical failure can cause a crash and the fact that performing vertical takeoffs and landings is inherently more hazardous than a landing by a winged aircraft, which can glide to a controlled landing if they have a power failure. 
Most eVTOL designs cannot do this because they cannot auto-rotate like a helicopter after a power or control failure, which means they are particularly vulnerable to any problem in the VTOL phase of flight. There are stringent certification standards for any aircraft to carry passengers and ABBS personnel, as the leading experts in the subject in Europe, are currently assisting the UK Civil Aviation Authority and the European Aviation Safety Agency by drafting the standards for active safety systems. These standards focus on the G-levels experienced by the aircraft occupants if the aircraft crashes, and one major element of the system used in eVTOLs will be stroking seats. That is, seats that can move downwards by a few inches and absorb energy to reduce the loads on the occupant's spine. These stroking seats are used routinely in armoured vehicles to mitigate the effects of mine blasts, in which case they only have to deal with a relatively small range of occupant weights, male and female soldiers. But for eVTOLs, the seats must work with small children as well as obese adults a much larger range of weights, which leads to a far more sophisticated seat design being required. ABBS is currently discussing an exclusive deal with a stroking seat manufacturer to develop the required seat design which Active VTOL Crash Prevention Limited would sell to the global market. The product offering for the urban air taxi market will be the complete parachute and sensors control initiation system and rocket motors and also the stroking seats if the joint development program is successful. The sale price of the small certified parachute plus retro rocket system will be £50,000 plus and a large certified system could be about £300,000. Given that a four-stroke five-seat eVTOL aircraft will cost four to five million dollars and the fact that safety is paramount this will be an acceptable cost for the industry to pay at a 50 plus percent gross margin. The aircraft industry adage, if you think safety is expensive, try an accident, applies. The Boeing 737 MAX example illustrating the point. The base vehicle cost for an armoured vehicle starts at about $150,000 for a ballistic protected civilian vehicle to $5 million for a large armoured personnel carrier, to over $9 million for a main battle tank. The ABBS products for armoured vehicles are the carbon fibre reinforced belly plates, plus sensor control and initiation system, rockets and active floor systems as required. The sale price of the ABBS systems can vary from about £25,000 for a simple carbon fibre reinforced belly plate system to over £250,000 per vehicle with a full set of technologies and rocket motor system installed. Again, gross margins should be in the 50 plus percent region. Major new UK funding opportunities. There are two major new opportunities to gain more government funding in the UK. The 125 million Future Flight Programme, launched in February 2020 and aimed at supporting the UK's urban air taxi development, and the UK Research Institute's Research Fellowship Scheme, launched in April 2020 and designed to bring the best R&D leaders in academia out into industry. ABBS is preparing a £1.5 plus million pound project proposal for the Future Flight Programme and is also working on three different £1.5 million pound proposals for the UK RI R&D Fellow Scheme using AVCP and ARMS as applicants as well as ABBS. Past Income and Profit ABBS has generated over £2.4 million pounds revenue to date through sales and R&D grants and made £560,000 profit after tax in 2019, following £145,000 profit after tax in 2018. The price obtained for the previous business started by Roger Sloman, the Advanced Composites Group, was 1.26 times previous year sales and 11.6 times profit, an unusually high price which was based on the combination of patented technology, unique products and a global marketing presence and footprint, including product manufacture and sales in the USA. 
ABBS is based on the same combination of patents and unique products and a strong presence in the USA, currently working with the US Army under a three-year cooperative R&D agreement to take the system fully to technology readiness level six when it is ready to apply to vehicles for certification testing. Due to the multiple ABBS group operations involved in two major markets with a global presence, there are multiple potential exit routes available. We have identified two new rapidly developing markets, developed the key products protected by patents, and have global players interested in our technology. ABBS already has relationships with some of the relevant global players and either JVs or trade sales of some parts of the business are possible in due course. Join us and let's make the world safer together. UK EIS tax relief is available if your personal circumstances qualify you.